Good evening. This is CTV News. I'm Patricia Ballone. And I'm Denise Douglas. So glad you could join us this evening. The shooting at Oxon Hill High School was a setup, according to state's attorney Angela Alsobrooks. Alsobrooks made the comment as she released new details about the incident. The victim's ex-girlfriend, Zania Bryant, asked him to meet her at the school on Monday. Once there, he got into a car with her and discovered Anthony Hollinsworth and another male in the backseat. One of them grabbed him. A scuffle ensued and he was shot. The victim escaped and ran into the school for help. Also, Brooks condemned the violence. In this case, this is about uh, something that really should have been resolved uh, without violence. But unfortunately, the young people in this case made a very a serious decision uh, to do something that could have cost the victim in this case his life. Uh, the police at this moment are still searching for yet a third suspect. Uh, who we expect to be apprehended uh, very shortly, and we will move forward in this case and hold them accountable. Bryant and Hollinsworth have been charged with attempted murder. Meanwhile, several arrests have been made in the stabbing at Parkdale High School. That also, Brooks says, is gang-related. The victim is recovering, and the investigation is continuing. Some more details on the Parkdale incident. The victim was stabbed several times in a wooded area in by a group of young men. When police arrived at the scene, they saw him staggering out. According to investigators, he was taken to a local hospital in serious condition. More than a half dozen people have been taken into custody. Route 210, it's a stretch of road that many say is dangerous. Now lawmakers are working to tackle the issue head on in Annapolis. The Prince George's delegation has proposed House Bill 175. The legislation would put speed cameras along Indian Head Highway. We're looking to install speed cameras on that route. Now, as far as where it would be placed, that's, that's all in the process. Um, basically, the bill is to initiate speed cameras because currently in Prince George's County, they are only permitted in school zones uh, and construction uh, work zones. In a 10-year time span, there were 47 fatal crashes on Route 210. Officials have identified the young man involved in yesterday's fatal crash in Beltsville. 32-year-old Jose Cruz Rivers of Silver Spring died after losing control of his gray vehicle while heading westbound on Ewing Road Tuesday morning. Officials say Rivers, Cruz Rivers, I should say, hit a curb and then collided with a large truck, stopped at a stop sign. The driver of the truck was not seriously injured. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. Maryland health officials confirmed the first pediatric flu death of the season. No details on the victim's age, gender, or residence have been released. Health experts recommend that people six months and older get vaccinated. Influenza is contagious, and to avoid getting the flu, residents should wash their hands often and stay away from sick people. Officials say if you are sick, stay home, get plenty of rest, and, of course, drink a lot of fluids.